Tornado was a flat ride at Liseberg, which opened in 1989. It did so together with Slänggungan, Eurovarvet and Snabbtåget. The latter was in cooperation with SJ, the Swedish Railways, but that's for another video. If you want more information about the ride Eurovarvet, you can click the link in the top right corner or just look for it in our theme park documentary playlist. This is a coaster stop theme park documentary about Tornado at the amusement park Liseberg in Gothenburg, Sweden. Please subscribe to Coaster Stop. Tornado is manufactured by an Italian company called SDC. Yeah, I know the name is quite strange and not that well known, so let's talk about this company for a bit. SDC stands for Spaghiari, Duce and Casoli, the family names of the three owners of the company. The company was formed in 1960 and during its active years they have apparently built 34 roller coasters and countless of amusement rides. By the end of 1993 SDC went bankrupt and the rides to various rides passed to CNS, S&MC and Samperla, the later one being the most well known by all of you, I guess. The ride that we will talk about today is by SDC called Galactica. The Galactica model comes as either park mounted or trailer mounted. Interesting enough, the ride at Liseberg was in a permanent location, but was still a trailer mounted ride. Tornado was not in its final location when it opened in 1989. No, it was placed by Sverigeplatsen next to Spelhuset. In 1993, the ride was moved to an attraction spot south of Flumride, where it stayed until the ride was removed from the park. The reason to move Tornado was to make way for that year's new ride, Topspin. Topspin we will save for a later theme park documentary though. It is interesting that the ride wasn't in its final spot when it opened, but what is even more interesting is that it wasn't even Tornado when it opened. And with that, I do not mean that the ride had a different name. No, according to information that I have gotten, the ride wasn't finished from STC's factory when it was time for delivery to Lisebari. Therefore, Lisebari had to borrow a SDC Galactic from another park and put that at Lisebari until the real tornado arrived to the park. Which park it was borrowed from, I do not know, but I still think this is a super fun fact. Tornado looked like a UFO and the ride experience felt like being in a huge centrifuge. I remember this ride quite well and I loved to ride it. But not only that, you see that when the ride starts to spin, it's laying down so to speak, and the faster the ride goes, the higher the UFO will tilt up, until you reach an 85 degree angle. This uh, was quite a view for onlookers. Tornado looked really cool, especially after sunset when all the lights on this ride was on. Let's do some ride facts. The size that the ride needed in the park was 22 by 19 meters. The maximum rotation speed was 17 rotates per minute. The weight of the ride was 40 tons and 40 riders could ride at the same time. But all good things have to come to an end and by the end of the 2008 season, Tornado took his last riders for his spin. If Tornado was sold or scrapped, I do not know, but the replacement was Hang High, a Samperla Mega Disco which opened in 2009. I am having quite a hard time to decide which one I like the most, Tornado or Hang High. Tornado was more extreme in a way, Hang High is kinda soft, but I still like the Mega Disco rides. So yeah, I would go for a hang high on this one, I think. 
this will probably be one of the shorter theme park documentaries that I will ever make, because this is all the information that I have about Tornado. Do you have any stories that you'd like to share about this ride? Do you have any videos or pictures from any of the old rides at Lisebay? Please let us know by making a comment or send us an email to fun at coasterstop.se because it really helps me making these videos for you. Please subscribe to Coaster Stop. You have watched a Coaster Stop theme park documentary about Tornado at Lisebay in Gothenburg, Sweden. Please like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more videos and theme park documentaries and thank you so much for watching!